అందరికీ నమస్కారం అండి హలో ఆల్ మై డియర్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ అండ్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ బెలగపూడి రామకృష్ణ సిద్ధార్థ కాలేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ విజయవాడ సింపుల్ గా చెప్పాలంటే మీకు అర్థమయ్యే లాంగ్వేజ్ లో చెప్పాలంటే బీఆర్ ఎస్సిసి బీఆర్ సిద్ధార్థ కాలేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ ఇన్ విజయవాడలో ఉన్న కాలేజ్ టాప్ కాలేజ్ దీనికి సంబంధించిన కంప్లీట్ క్యాంపస్ రివ్యూని ఈ వీడియోలో మీకు చూపిస్తాను వర్చువల్ గా దానికి ప్లేస్మెంట్స్ ఫెసిలిటీస్ నేను చూపించలేకపోయినా ఫ్యాకల్టీకి సంబంధించి ప్లేస్మెంట్ ప్లేస్మెంట్స్ కి సంబంధించి రివ్యూ అనేది నేను రాసిన నా నోట్స్ అనేది నేను డిస్క్రిప్షన్ లో మెన్షన్ చేశాను మీరు అక్కడికి వెళ్ళి చదవచ్చు లేదా క్యాంపస్ ప్లేస్మెంట్స్ అండ్ ఫ్యాకల్టీ గురించి సపరేట్ వీడియో చేయమని నేను ఖచ్చితంగా చేస్తాను అండ్ ఆల్సో అది ఓవరాల్ వీడియో గా చేద్దాం అనుకుంటున్నాను ఇంకా నేను ఈ కాలేజెస్ కాకుండా స్పెషల్ టాప్ కాలేజెస్ ఏవైతే ఉన్నాయో వాటి అన్నిటి మీద స్పెషల్ వీడియోస్ చేసి ఉంచాను మీరు ఇంతవరకు ఎవరైనా చూడబోతే కింద ప్లే లిస్ట్ వెంటనే వెళ్ళి చూడండి అండ్ ఆల్సో మా ఛానల్ కొంచెం సబ్స్క్రైబ్ చేసుకోండి మీకు ఇంకా మంచి కంటెంట్ ని చేయగలుగుతాము లెట్ ఎస్ గెట్ ఇన్ డౌన్ వెలగపూడి రామకృష్ణ సిద్ధార్థ ఇంజనీరింగ్ కాలేజ్ ద పైనియర్ అమాంగ్ ప్రైవేట్ సెల్ఫ్ ఫైనాన్సింగ్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూషన్ ఆఫ్ టెక్నికల్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ ఇన్ ద కాంపోజిట్ స్టేట్ ఆఫ్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ వాస్ ఎస్టాబ్లిష్డ్ ఇన్ నైన్టీన్ సెవెంటీ సెవెన్ కమిటెడ్ టు స్కేలింగ్ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ అప్ అండ్ ద రీజియన్ ఇన్ టర్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ టెక్నికల్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ ద కాలేజ్ ఆల్సో హోల్డ్స్ ద రికార్డ్ ఆఫ్ బీయింగ్ ద ఫస్ట్ ప్రైవేట్ టెక్నికల్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూషన్ టు ఆఫర్ ఎం టెక్ in the composite state of andhra pradesh the college has been marching forward with an ambidextrous orientation acquiring formidable successes in pedagogy and research standing aloft among the institutions of its ilk during the last four decades of its flourishing existence the vision and mission of the college stand ample testimony for the comprehensive quint essential characteristics of the institution velagapur ramakrishna siddhartha engineering college sponsored by siddhartha academy of general and technical education has been nurturing vision and mission for the comprehensive development of the college in all spheres research orientation was incorporated into the vision statement way back a couple of decades itself deriving inspiration from vision and mission statements and on the decades long success the college developed a strategic plan focusing on excellence in teaching learning infrastructure and research and development specifically the college developed a r&d policy for encouraging research culture in both faculty and students by way of giving financial support for the activities on major and minor research projects seed grant for young faculty and student projects incentives for paper publications and sponsored research grants and expenditure for filing patents and support for national and international travel for presenting research papers in conferences all the undergraduate programs are accredited four times and eligible pg programs are also accredited by national board of accreditation new delhi 
The college is an autonomous status conferred by UGC since 2006, accredited by NAAC with A grade and is also an ISO 9001-2008 certified institution. The college has a rich tradition of research for over two decades, with the institution being one of the foremost private technical institutions in the entire southern region to obtain defense projects. Few of the pathfinding achievements include the college is one of the very few colleges in the country to secure NBA accreditation for its undergraduate programs under Washington Accord in 2014. The college stood first in the composite state of Andhra Pradesh for its IDP and sixth in the entire country among private engineering colleges for Techwip Phase 2. In 2010, Based on the research background, the Government of India has sanctioned Rs. 6 crores under Techwip 2 project, a World Bank project, for enhancing demand driven research, development, and innovation. As a part of this project, our faculty and students have filed more than 20 patents over the last two years. The college is the only private institution in the composite state of AP to obtain and successfully complete the prestigious TFAC core in telematics worth 933 lakh rupees granted by DST in 2009, undertaken by the Department of ECE with 14 renowned partnering industries like Texas Instruments India Private Limited Bangalore, National Instrument Systems India Private Limited Bangalore, etc. The college is the first private technical institution in the composite state to set up a high voltage engineering laboratory in the year 2001 itself. Jawaharlal Nehru Technological University Kakinada recognized five departments namely CE, CSE, ECE, EEE and NIE as research centers. With the requisite progressive orientation and the intrinsic dynamism, the college has made a mark in the Industry Institute partnership. In the Department of ECE has been undertaking six projects worth about 125 lakh rupees in the areas of antennas, remote sensing applications, code verification, etc. The Department of Electronics and Instrumentation Engineering also has put active endeavors to develop a collaborative lab supported by National Instruments Private Limited and the activities of the lab are underway. Siemens Center of Excellence The college is one of the two private engineering colleges in the state, the rest being government or university colleges, to have been granted the Siemens Center of Excellence by the AP State Skill Development Corporation. Rising to the occasion, the college created a dedicated facility worth 550 lakh rupees. The whole center is operational and initiated training activity since 14th November 2016. More than 1000 students of different institutions have been trained. Department of Computer Science and Engineering has been undertaking major research in the areas of video analytics, cyber security, bioinformatics, data mining and data analytics worth about 49 lakh rupees. Video Analytics Research Laboratory, which is first of its kind in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, was established with a grant of 18.23 lakh rupees sanctioned by Adrian Isro. Oracle Technologies Laboratory was established in the Department of CSE with an expenditure of 6.4 lakh rupees has commenced its activities on a grand note. The Department of Information Technology has put in active efforts in setting up IBM Industry Collaborative Laboratory, spending about 15 lakh rupees. Scores of faculty and students have been undergoing training in the areas of Blue MIX, Hadoop using IBM Infosphere, Big Inside, Big Data Analytics and Content Management. The Department of IT has also undertaken the tasks related 
to Bhuvan Panchayat scheme of ISRO funded by National Remote Sensing Center and another UGC funded project on security risk mitigation model. The two projects are worth about 26 lakh rupees. The Department of Mechanical Engineering is worthy of hosting the Center of Excellence in Composites, the only one of its kind across Andhra Pradesh, with its established research base producing 10 PhDs and 160 research papers published in internationally reputed journals for the last five years. One of the research papers published from this center in the Journal of Materials and Design had the highest citations in the world in 2015. Fructification of eight research projects worth 98 lakh rupees funded by DST, DRDO, UGC, AICTE complemented by the financial aid of 20 lakh rupees by the college management culminated in the establishment of the center of excellence. The center has been extending its services even for the state universities possessing both manufacturing and testing facilities which is the unique feature of this center of excellence. The equipment worth about 72 lakh rupees granted by DST, FIST, AICTE and UGC has been operational in the center of excellence putting in relevant endeavors in this specialist domain. Computerized tensometer, impact testing machine for lightweight materials and such other relevantly functional equipment have been arranged in the center. Injection molding lab granted by AICTE has also been contributing towards sustained research and the fact that two PhDs have been completed and a large number of PhD and MTech projects have been underway utilizing the research facilities in the lab. The Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering has been undertaking active endeavors in power systems and energy harvesting. DRDO Anurag Lab project has been running with an amount 9.8 lakh rupees intended to study different kinds of energy harvesting techniques which are feasible to drive GPS module. Low cost electrical vehicle for heavy luggage transportation has been developed with an approximate cost of 1 lakh rupees with the insightful efforts of students and faculty of the department of Tripoli. The Department of Civil Engineering is offering consultancy services to various government, private and public sector undertakings like APPCB, NTPC, HPCL, BTPS, AAIL, Nippon Coil, CRDA etc. generating an income of 600 lakh rupees in the last three years. Most of the critical issues of civil engineering have been referred to the college with recent ones being Ground Improvement Certification for Krishna University Machlipatnam and Proof Checking of Design for the first ever G Plus 40 building in Vijaywada. Equipped with software like Cedrus, Sai, Midas, etc. and very sophisticated test facilities such as non-destructive testing equipment, 100T UTM Digital, complete water analysis and air monitoring systems, wind tunnel, total station, 50 empty loading frame etc. The department has been making forays into advanced research. In the relentless quest for further upgradation, the college has been putting efforts in the form of associating with Alabama. A sensors and signal processing laboratory is underway in collaboration with Western Alabama University USA in the department of ECE. Being at all institution, the curriculum is continuously revised to meet the requirements of industry and society and also to inculcate research culture in the minds of the students. In the recent revision, we have introduced a new course, core project, where the students has to develop a prototype process or software on their own 
based on the needs of the industry and society and also flexibility is given in the curriculum to carry out the project for full time either in industry or in research laboratories. Center for Innovation and Incubation In order to encourage innovative spirit and to incubate the techno-creative endeavors of students and faculty in a positive manner, these centers are being established in all the departments. In addition, the college has been utilizing the expertise of eminent academicians from Queensland University, Australia, Edith Coburn University, Australia, etc. for greater successes in techno-creativity.